Hey gang, welcome back to another video. We are kicking off this Sunday with a body care review. So we're gonna do Bath & Body Works Whitberry Meringue versus Dirty Soul Soap Company Whitberry Meringue. So thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday. We have some fun videos today. So yes, I hope you guys are, are uh, enjoying this Sunday. I know Halloween should be out tomorrow. So who's excited for Halloween tomorrow? Hopefully it is in store. So I'm so excited to get my haul in the mail. So in today's video though, we are going to be reviewing the Whitberry Meringue from Bath & Body Works. And we are going to be comparing it to the Whitberry Meringue by Dirty Soul Soap Company. Now Whitberry Meringue is definitely one of my favorites. It's very just like berries and vanilla with like some sugar. Oh, it's so good. Now this is a repackage of Boardwalk Taffy. So after Boardwalk Taffy, they came out with Whitberry Meringue with like the sweets and treats collection, the bakery, you can say, kind of collection. And then they also repackaged this and, and it is now called Cotton Candy Clouds. So very good sugary scent. You get the berries, you get the vanilla. It's just a really, really good scent. This one does last about three hours on me, just the mist alone. And I love the packaging. I absolutely loved this collection. This is from 2022, I believe. Yeah, this came out in 2022, part of like the bakery collection. It came out with the uh, pear brulee. It came out with peach prosecco macaron. It came out with, uh, I think, bubbly rosé. So definitely it had a, it was an awesome collection. So yeah, three hours on this. It's berries, vanilla, it's sugary. It's really good. They call it a meringue, but I don't really get any kind of like pastry note, any kind of like meringue pie crust note. Mainly just berries, vanilla with some sugar. Okay, so then we have the Dirty Soul Soap Company Whip Berry Meringue. Now this one only lasts on me for about an hour. So the longevity isn't good. And I do get the berries and the vanilla, but it just, there's something off with this one. I don't want to say it's like a chemical smell, but it just, there's something about it that just doesn't smell right. It's almost like a old Whitberry meringue pie, you know, something that's just been sitting around for a while. Almost like the vanilla is kind of like expired. Yeah, not one of my favorites. So I'm glad I had the sample to be able to test out. So if you have the sample or if you've tried Whitberry Meringue from Dirty Soul Soap Company, let me know what you think of this fragrance. Yeah, I don't know. There's just something about it that doesn't smell right to me. It smells a little off. So this is definitely a fragrance that I won't be purchasing from Dirty Soul Soap Company. Uh, some of their fragrances are really, really good. And then just like any other company, you're going to find some fragrances that just doesn't work well on your body chemistry. But Whitberry Meringue was such a good one from Bath & Body Works. I wish, uh, well, I would say I wish they'd bring it back, but they kind of do with the cotton candy clouds. But it was such a good collection though. Really, really love this one. This one I'm about halfway done with. So yeah, I'll definitely keep using this one up. I love it so much. So let me know what you think of Whitberry Meringue from Bath & Body Works or Dirty Soul Soap Company. I hope you enjoyed this review. A little quick video before a fun video later today. So thank you guys so much for watching. For, I would say, longevity, strength, overall, not the greatest scent either from both of them. Uh, you know, but it's just such a fun show sugary berry and vanilla scent so I absolutely love it so yeah I definitely don't recommend the Whitberry Meringue from Dirty Soul Soap Company unfortunately but the Cotton Candy Clouds from Bath & Body Works it was just recently it came out for semi-annual sale this summer really really good scent so thank you so much for watching this review I hope you guys have a great Sunday and hopefully I will see you later on tonight